morning. <laughs> Finally doing a vlog again. I've really been wanting to. I've just had like other makeup videos that I've wanted to do or just felt more, I don't know, secure in doing like, oh, I want to do this video. I want to talk about this. And sometimes when I do a vlog, it's like, I have no idea where this is exactly going to go, but that's okay. Uh, we're going to go into the unknown and we're going to do a vlog today. It's Thursday as I shoot this. I am doing some uh, it's not really an ice roller. It's just this like cold roller that I keep in my makeup fridge up here. Going over my eyes and my face and just waking myself up a little bit. So yeah, Thursday ahead of a competition weekend. We're going to be going to Memphis tomorrow and then competing on Saturday uh, for cheer. So I'll be doing some preparation for that today. Um, we've gotten all of our practicing, our extra practicing out of the way um, earlier this week, yesterday and Monday. So we're ready. We're ready. A little bit of a skincare update right now. I feel like I'm kind of getting back into my old skincare, like pre- eczema flare-up type of skincare. Um, I use a niacinamide serum from The Ordinary, but I'd run out of that, so I went to this niacinamide serum that I um, had from e.l.f., but I'd gotten into the Aven skincare line, and there are parts of that that I still use, particularly at nighttime, but I did actually have some breakouts as a result of that, and I think it was just because um, some of the stuff I was using from that particular line was so juicy, so incredibly hydrating. It was just almost more than I needed. So I'm using the niacinamide. I'm using a little hyaluronic right here uh, from The Ordinary. And once I kind of just went to Vanny Cream, like I think the Aven stuff served me for a time. And I think a couple of things that I have are very treatment oriented and they're great, but I just don't think I need to be using that entire skincare range. And my skin's been super clear doing it this way. So using my Vanny Cream Daily facial moisturizer. Get a good amount of that. It's very gentle. It does not seem to clog my pores. Get that all over and then use my heavy duty actual vanity cream that I put in this tub around my eyes and any spots on my face that feel especially dry. I always just feel a little dry right in here. I think sometimes when I wear my glasses, it's where my glasses sit and I don't know, it just needs a little extra attention. So get all around those eyes. Sometimes around the mouth needs a little more moisture. And then my SPF that I've been using for a long, long time that has never created an issue for me, my every single face watery lotion from Supergoop. Get that on and just blend all of that in. Oh my gosh, I've got a random like eyelash sticking to my arm. <laughs> Hello, where did you come from? So anyway, that's kind of my current skincare update. The skin is behaving. It seems to be working out well with this stuff. So getting back into my usual serums, using primarily Vanny Cream products for moisture, and then my sunscreen. Okay, so we have a Disney Plus subscription and I felt like when we first got that like uh, the kids were all into just all the animated Disney movies right you know like we would be watching all the princess ones and all the different things and more recently we've gotten into like the other movies that are under the Disney umbrella movies I probably should have seen a long time ago but I hadn't so like the parent trap my girls love that movie. They could watch that on repeat. Um, also, I guess a bit of a Lizzie Lohan theme here, but Freaky Friday, that movie's really good. I actually love the acting in that. We've watched that one a lot. Um, I always loved Mrs. Doubtfire, and so I got the girls onto that, and they like that one too. Oh, everybody was big into um, Three Men and a Little Lady. <laughs> I feel like my skin looks pretty good with just that primer on. That's my Maybelline Perfector 4 in one. Vanessa Myrick's Yummy Skin. I'm all about this stuff lately. The coverage is gorgeous. 6N is the shade. So last night, I had the best McChicken sandwich of my life. It might have just been that I was so darn hungry. It was after practice, and I really should have just gone through McDonald's on the way home if I knew I needed this McChicken so bad, right? You know, there's a McDonald's on the way. I could just roll through there. But I didn't know I needed the McChicken at that time. I needed the McChicken after I was already home. So I door dashed it. And let me tell you, it was just the exact thing I needed in the moment. There was nothing I wanted in this house. No food that we had, I, I did not want any of it. I had a meal prepped thing that wasn't so good. Like my meal prep recipe would have been good if I could have followed all the stuff that was really supposed to be in there, but instead I used stuff I had and it just 
wasn't as good. I just couldn't make myself want that for the life of me. So doggone it, I had the McChicken. And sometimes I swear you save yourself on calories if you just go ahead and eat the thing you really want. Because what I would have done then is really wanted a McChicken and gone around eating three or four different things that probably added up to more calories than a McChicken just to try to get close to McChicken. You know what I mean? It was door dashed and it was worth it. And the dogs had a terrible loss to Bradley last night. Not good, but the McChicken helped everything. Guys, I got another thing that needs to be urgently discussed. <laughs> <laughs> I just went ahead and did some concealer. I used that Natasha Denona High Glam, um, and I'm going to put some Maybelline Fit Me on as well. But we got to talking last, no, the night before last, about the seasons and how I kind of resent spring. Don't hate me, okay? But I, I think spring is way overrated because I really resent how spring has to come in with its severe weather. It's the only season that makes me fear for my life. A couple days ago, our little neck of the woods was in the bullseye, the bullseye of severe weather, of elevated threat of severe weather. And that just freaks me out a little bit, okay? It makes me nervous. I don't like it. And I think, yeah, it's nice when baby animals are born. It's nice when everything gets green again. But spring, could you, could you not with the weather? Like, could you not be so dramatic? Can we calm down a little bit, perhaps? So my ranking of the seasons goes in order of favorite, number one, fall number two winter because I do love snow number three summer I mean it's really tight between those two honestly I love summer I like pool weather but number four is spring for me and that, so I'm talking to bub and he's like oh spring's my favorite Sp spring is my number one and then I'm like okay let's text pup spring is her number one spring is Jeff's number one literally every person in that evening conversation was all about spring. And I'm sure if I ask my mom and dad, they'll say spring. And I'll be the only one who's like, guys, spring, it's a problem. <laughs> spring is too much for me to handle. I don't like all the severe weather drama. Now, a thunderstorm here and there? Sure. I'll even take a strong thunderstorm. But these situations when it seems like our area is always in the bullseye of something severe that's going to go down and the meteorologists are seeing it happening like two days out and they're hyping it up and making it into a big thing. And now we didn't actually get anything that bad. And I saw um, one meteorologist who I follow saying like, you know, this was maybe not necessary that we were in this elevated threat, but it sure got my attention and it always freaks me out a little bit. Thanks, spring. And I never really got satisfied on snow, so I'm even a little bit more resentful of spring. I can't wait to see the AI summary of my video. There's a person who comes on here. I think it's kind of cool. Um, they'll come on certain videos, and then I guess they use AI to, in a comment, put timestamps on the different parts of the video and the different things that are discussed. Sometimes, like in a get ready with me, I might talk about, like, I don't know, eight or ten different things. <laughs> unrelated topics and they will put them down. So I hope this one says rants about spring. <laughs> I can't wait to see what AI decides to boil that down to. Biscuits don't leave. All right, guys, I went ahead and continued my makeup. I used my Laura Geller Cheek to Chic Tropical Glow Face Palette. I love this palette so much. I got it for, was it, wasn't this a Christmas thing? I used the Tahitian Glow mostly as my bronzer. A little bit of the Honey Dipped as well, which has more shimmer. Tropic Hues is my blush. Used both the highlighters as well. For eyes today, I just opted to pull out a palette I haven't used in a while, so I went with Tartlet Energy. I don't love this palette, but I I use some of the brownish and a little bit of the burgundy, some of this on the lid and this like kind of above the crease. It's just okay. But then we're gonna do the lip now. Ah. Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner. This is in the shade Sienna. This reminds me a lot of Kiss and Tell from the Hard Candy Insta Pout line. Maybe a little bit cooler. And yeah, if you fill in your whole lips with a Revlon Colorstay Lip Liner, you're gonna have good color throughout the day. And then over the top of that, I'm going to use my uh, Maybelline Lifter Gloss in the shade Moon and see how that looks. I feel compelled to do a TikTok trying on every Lifter Gloss that I have, and I just haven't found the time yet. I like this shade because it's kind of, it's got that reflective thing going on. And I also like that I can top off 
a color stay lip liner and not worry about the color transferring back onto my um, doe foot applicator. It just stays in place, you know? And these are just so hydrating. Very everyday kind of lip. I love Moon. I've worn a lot of um, brass lately because it has that little like gold reflectivity, which has been pretty paired with different like nudish lip looks that I've done. I've also just wearing it solo, the shade called Heat. It's more of a creamy color, just like soft berry. I like that. Here's a better look at things since I know that angle is not the absolute best. Also, we put back the um, eucalyptus garland and some more springy things in the background. Also a mess of palettes that needs to be worked out. Hi, sweetie. Oh. Doing my devotional today. Last day of February. shortcut in life it's frozen pancakes they are absolutely perfect I mean I don't know about you some of y'all out there probably are making perfect pancakes from scratch and they always look good but these are actually packaged in little threes but look all of the pancakes look exactly like this Okay, completely uniform, completely delicious. And you can just heat up a couple in the microwave. Everybody's happy. Nobody cares how they came to be. They just want the taste of a good pancake. I know I've gotten these from Walmart before and possibly even Aldi. 24 fully cooked pancakes, get them. It's Reed, it's is it Reed Across, Across America? America week and, and today we're celebrating Nuffle Buddy. Oh, and let me go get my Nuffle Buddy. Okay. I named her Nuffle Buddy. You named her Nuffle Buddy. But, so what stuffed animal are you taking though? This one, and she perfectly fits in my back. What are you taking, Nook? She's taking a Yeti. Oh. <laughs> it had to be able to fit in your backpack. Good morning, Brock. Yummy breakfast there. I'm also getting something nutritious. Show and me. And something refreshing. It's a blueberry probiotic shake. <laughs> what are they doing here? <laughs> Having a loving moment? Oh, so what's happening at school today, other than bring your stuffies? Uh, we have to work some fractions. You're working on fractions? We have in third to do grade. some Lexia. Uh, I have to do some Lexia. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to tell me about your new water bottle? Yeah, this is a hydrogen water. I don't know if it actually works, but it seems like it's making me drink a lot more water. Uh-huh. It has, it's really cool. You turn it on and it does stuff. Yeah. Is that the hydrogen going into it? That's the hydrogen ions being incorporated. Yeah, I like that. See, it's blue. And then once it's done doing that, the, the uh, blue turns off. All right. And, it beeps. and I went first place in my tier competition and I'm gonna win champion now. Wow. Hey guys, so um, I'm sitting here at my laptop. Ugga's right next to me. He's having a little bit of breakfast and while he eats, I am finishing up editing the video that will go up later today. It's about Real Techniques brushes. When he moves on from breakfast, he starts playing with his little people and then I finish up and I join him. So we're playing with little people now. Is Mo or Molly riding the skag? I finished doing my editing work and I'm now having my low sugar oatmeal packet with some blueberries. It's very good. We have our various characters like Garbage Gary, like Firefighter Fifi, Paulina, Alex, Maggie, our various days of our lives, <laughs> little people. He has been loving his library books this week. We have Daniel Gets Scared and Trucks Go. The garbage truck goes burr -ba -ba, burr -ba -ba, burr -ba -ba, screech, beep, 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 crunch, crunch, crunch. I think that's a watercolor, like Aunt Pup makes. Oh, what one is this? The car. The auto carrier? The, the auto carrier. It goes roar, roar, bubba da bubba da, honk, honk. Yay, and we 
Hey, yep, this is Daniel gets scared, and you know what? Mommy got scared of a storm the other night, too. Hi, neighbor. It is raining. When you are scared, says Mom, close your eyes and think of something happy. Is that what you do when you're scared, Bubba? Think of something happy. What do you think about? Think of something happy. You think about your puppy? Think of something happy. Mm-hmm. Now we're going to read some more Daniel Tiger stories because we just can't get enough. Which story do you want to read? Meet the neighbors? Meet the neighbors. Okay, we are heading out to Walmart. We need milk and we need to pick up some snacks. One small thing for me. One small thing for you? One small thing for me. <laughs> but we... One small thing for me. One small thing for you. Okay. Um... We need to get some snacks for this weekend going to our uh, cheer competition in Memphis. Hi. <laughs> well, okay, Walmart Hall. I got some individual bags of Pirate's Booty, some Dum Dums because these are a powerful bargaining chip in my life with a four-year-old. Um, some Ritz crackers, so like road snacks there. Got some smart food. Got some milk. Um, these cute pants. I was looking for some pants that the girls could wear, um, like to have their cheer shoes on. And then they have these little cheer shoe covers. So it just makes it really quick when it's time to go. We just take the shoe covers off. And these pants, these cute little justice pants have this slit at the bottom. They're like flared and they have that slit. So you could easily like take them off over shoes. So these are $12 each, and I got a pair for each of the girls. I got some Advil. I got some deodorant, makeup wipes, just general wipes, uh, small things of wipes, because sometimes it's hard to find those. A little hairspray, a little toothpaste, and he got his one small thing for him. Hi, little sweeties. They just love getting their sunshine. Oh, sweethearts. Hi, kitten. Here comes Handyman Hal. He's getting in the back seat. So other than getting my video posted this afternoon, um, I still need to get it proof watched, exported, Hi. uploaded, and the info box done and the thumbnail done. But I want to get all of the stuff packed up for the competition that we're leaving for tomorrow. So getting the girls' cheer bags packed completely, my stuff packed, Ugga's stuff packed. Kitten sees a bug there on the blinds. Oh, Bisky! She says, I must protect this house. It's okay, hon. Cooking Carla and Waiter Walter and Pizza Paul, for that matter, are very upset about the state of the restaurant. We've got tables turned over, chairs turned over and missing. We gotta get this all back in order. Mama, how so are, we can have some customers. Mommy, come in the house, doing. How's Handyman Hal doing? He's holding a wrench. Okay. He's got to fix something. Would he like to come over here? Because we've got two tables and also this seat open for lunch. Got some pizzas ready. Paulina and tow truck Tammy decided they're going to do lunch today over at the pizzeria. Meanwhile, Garbage Grant and Garbage Gary are going to do lunch here at the Bistro. Meanwhile, Ambulance Annie says it's been a stressful time at work lately, and she just wants to hang out on the swing for a bit. It must have been love. Are you the actual Lorax? I'm not the actual Lorax. Oh, just a pretending Lorax? Just a temporary Lorax? Lorax in training? For any of those, let me know and I'll see. I'm just proof watching my video on the Real Techniques brushes so I can hopefully get that posted at some point during this nap time period because I just put Ugga up for his nap. So I just got my, hello Ugga. Hello mommy. I just got my video posted, um, the, picked up the girls from school first. My video was still uploading because for whatever reason it was taking a really long time today. And um, now Ugga wanted to play outside, which I promised him he could. And he likes to pretend all of his scooters and toy golf clubs and things are like mowers or, oh, good job, buddy. Good job. He likes to pretend it's all lawn equipment and that he has a trailer set up that he's putting together over there. Every day he lines it up like it's, it calls it a trailer. Or is that your lawn care setup? 
Is that my launcher, Oh, well, there's Biddy coming down. Look. That's right, pink scoot. She zips and zooms. Nice. Scooter stunts. So yeah, I love you, Fly. Mwah. I did really good in math. You I like got, math? Yeah, I like math. I did really good. On and really, what? Um, so we were doing addition with tens and ones. Uh huh. And I did really good. <laughs> Okay, so as you can see, it's me. Hi. Okay, guys, look at my daffodil. We've gotten daffodil, but it's drooping. See that? That's our daffodil. This is what he does. He just, he piddles around. He just does things. When we go pick up the girls, he bends down and pulls weeds and stuff and just puts them in his pocket. All right, so I just got done packing up their cheer bags for the weekend. I've got shoes, socks, and shoe covers. Also in there, these little snackle boxes are the cutest. It was like a team mom thing for one of the teams, um, Biddy's team. And once it came in and we saw how cute it was, the others were like, we need a snackle box too. So um, they don't eat it like all in one fell swoop, but it's just a fun little variety of things in there. Hi, sweetie. And you know, they can share it if there's other kids and stuff, but it's just fun to have on hand at the competition. And then down in front here, I've got their extra outfit. So some pants that they'll probably wear in, and then I'll just throw the skirt on once they get in the building, uh, just because it's probably gonna start out cold that day. Um, a little cover-up thing to protect their uniform while I'm doing makeup, and if they have anything to eat with their uniform on. A, a t-shirt to put on afterwards. I've got their uniform skirt packed in the bag, and then their tops are in a garment bag. I've got their hair piece and their bow. It's all really nicely protected here in this front part. So these bags are like identical on the inside with what's in there. And then as far as all the stuff for like actually doing the hairdos, you know, the hairspray, the bobby pins, the makeup, all that, I'll keep all that in my bag. But their individual outfits and the things that pertain to their look, it's going in these bags. By the way, don't you love this little area that Bub built? These baskets, this storage hooks typically it's their um like jackets go up here lunch bags and their school backpacks but i'm kind of using it as a staging area for the competition stuff i'll just have to pack for them just something to sleep in maybe some sandals or something to wear around the hotel um mommy, mommy. you found me i'll pack my outfit to wear on Saturday, Uga's outfit to wear on Saturday, all my makeup, of course, all my things. So I'll try to get that together tonight. And like when I do my makeup in the morning, that's when I pack that. I am a pack as you apply makeup person. So I make sure I forget nothing. But yeah, I think I'm gonna sign off here because I mean, the day's kind of coming to a close. We had dinner, it always feels a little chaotic and I totally forgot to pick up my phone. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you like this vlog, <laughs> whatever this turns out to be. I always wonder like, what did I I actually do in this video, uh, but I'll find out when I edit. So thank you guys for your time and I will see you all again very soon. I love you. Bye.